Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for today's car. 89 Jag XJS Cabriolet. You know, these cars continue to have great style, uh, especially low mileage ones like this, driven around uh, a little over 2,000 miles a year. Um, and just an exceptional, exceptional shape. I love the colors, I love the, uh, the signal red paint uh, with the black leather. Now this one happens to have the V12. And one of the things we do do for a lot of people on these is we remove one set of the mufflers. This has uh, multiple mufflers and resonators and things like that. Uh, because Jaguar thought that the, the person that buys this car wanted it silent, uh, but a lot of power. And the truth of the matter is, with the 12 cylinder under the hood, it sounds so good uh, with one set of mufflers removed or maybe upgrade to a nice stainless uh, boiler exhaust system. I wish we could do it. It's not a lot of money and it changes the whole drive of the car because it burbles out of the back. It's not real loud inside, but just enough sound to uh, let you know it's under the hood. Uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, these cars back then were. Um, pretty expensive. You know, we're talking about 89, and these cars were in the 50s and $60,000 range uh, way back then. And now these cars have uh, eclipsed the $100,000 mark. So, a car like this with 50,000 miles, this car is selling for around 16,000, uh, and it's in really, really exceptional shape as well as loaded up too. So, let's take a peek at some of the quality of things like paint. I like to do this on the paint so that you can see, like, what am I really getting? Like, how shiny is that? And you know what? If you're looking on the internet at cars, this is what you should be looking at. You should be looking at the quality of the paint to make sure that it's uh, beautifully done, still nicely waxed and washed, and somebody really took care of this car. The chrome and the bright work on this car is still exceptional. It's in really good shape. It's got the factory alloy wheels on it, the Jaguar cat on the hood, and they're nice looking rims too. You know, these are uh, kind of held up pretty well as far as style and things like that. Fresh set of uh, Yokohamas all the way around. It's interesting how that wheel has soldiered on. Uh, one nice feature it does have, although it does have four-wheel disc brakes, you just can't really see them because what they've done is they've installed the disc brake covers in here. And what that does is keeps the brake dust off of the wheel. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to keep that wheel clean. You see a lot of people drive around with the black wheels. Well, that's from the brake dust, uh, them getting wet or tires shine or whatever, sticking to it and, uh, and making it dis disfigured. And here that cuts that down a lot. Um, looks like they've gone with like stainless steel. Uh, lug caps and these are all like little good signs or like, somebody cared about their car that's covered the stainless caps on the lug nuts so they don't look rusty or ugly or chipped up from uh, being put on and off you know it looks a little bit complex but it's really not these are the intake manifolds here two air filters on each side and here's a couple cool things about these cars you know they actually share some parts don't let anybody know uh, with general motors a lot of manufacturers use General Motors parts, and some of them are air conditioning units. Those are super reliable, they're inexpensive, so if you went to like uh, the Jag dealer to get a new compressor, uh, they would charge you, you know, $1,500, where that same compressor at any other place in the world is, uh, is $300 because of the GM compressor. Just little things like that. All right, so here's uh, some good indications of what you're getting. Original decals are still around the car, so you know that uh, mostly all original paint in here. All the emission stickers are still here, stuff like that. This is the kind of stuff that you can't go out and buy. Here's the VIN number of the car. It's not only here, but it's also in the windshield too. Keeps down on theft of the car. They would actually have to cut all of this out to try to steal this car and get rid of the VIN number on it. Great power, a lot of torque. You know, they don't make huge horsepower. They don't make like 500 horsepower, but they make 300 horsepower, but they make a lot, a lot of torque. That's how you lock that there. All right, let's check out the trunk because believe it or not, uh, here's a couple cool styling features. Like, come on over for a second and check out this gas cap. That's kind of cool. Just a little nice touch. You know, uh, the previous versions of these cars had two separate tanks. Here they combined the one and did that. The rear end styling of this car has really held up well. V12 call out on the back, XJS Cabriolet, dual exhaust that we talked about. Upgrade that for a little bit more sound. Then the trunk is kind of finished in the same thing. You know, these cars at this level come with different kinds of carpet and leather. So for instance, like these cars come with what's called Wilton wool carpeting. It's real wool carpet. It's not, uh, uh, I don't know if it's called acetate or whatever it is that, the, that most cars come with, but uh, like the trunk is finished and all that. Spare tires, a full size spare with a nice cover. Everything's finished off nicely in here so you know how everything works. The tools are right here. We have the books to the car. Um, this is like stock with a polished stainless. It's kind of cool to be able to see the VIN number on the plates uh, on body panels in the car because that way you know like that stuff's original. Here, here's a good one right here. They're both down in here, okay? And the VIN numbers are there. That means that this car hasn't been racked and a new quarter panel has been put on the car 
because you can't buy those stickers anymore. They would have come from the factory one time only. That was to try to keep the theft down. Okay? All right, so as we close up in here, let's move ourselves into the interior. You know, for my $60,000 I was spending to buy a convertible at this level, like what was I getting? Well, you'd be getting things like Connolly leather hides. Connolly leather, like in this car here, and Rolls Royce and things like that, is a special type of leather. These uh, cows are raised in a, in a different environment than others in the sense that they're protected more. So they don't get nicks on their skin and things like that. So the leather is super smooth and buttery. It does, uh, it's fairly free of flaws and uh, it's just a, a superior grade of leather. Like one person picked out the entire leather of this car, all right? Wilton wool carpets, not uh, regular, maybe it's called acetate or something like that that you would get in a normal uh, carpeting, but this is, uh, this is actually wool carpeting. Nice storage container back here for anything that you want. Uh, let's say you go someplace, and uh, with most cars just have a, a, a glove box. This has a huge storage place that you can lock, and that way you can just give the valet the ignition key, and, the, and that key won't fit like that here. Got a nice boot on it. And then when you get in this car, it even makes a sound with a key in that sounds wealthy. It just sounds rich. Okay, so as you uh, as you move through here, you know Jaguars have always been sporting cars, and uh, this is no exception here. We're talking about 42,277 miles on this car. That's a pretty exceptional piece. Um, full gauges on the dash, 7,000 RPM tack, and 160 mile an hour speedometer. The steering wheel fits nicely in your hand. You got the factory radio. This is like an unmolested car. Like everything on this car is bone stock. This is one of those collector type cars, you know, with the low miles and 42,000 on there. Uh, everything is just kind of cool and neat. We got separate ashtrays. It's weird because this is, uh, I'm, I see that some things are, are interesting that they were built the car for uh, like these two ashtrays. They built the car for uh, the English market and the US market. The US market's their biggest market in the world, but don't forget that these cars started out as right-hand drive cars because they're, they're English. And then, uh, and then they build this side of the car for, you know, obviously for the American market. But uh, you know, I'm gonna start the car for you. And the one thing I'm gonna do is, it doesn't uh, have a really loud sound. It actually has the opposite. How about I start it for you? You can tell me what you think. Super smooth, super silky. And if you want a little louder, you let me know. When you get this car, just so you know, you have to have the parking brake on uh, to put the top down. It's pretty quick too. You, know, you can get a traffic light, hit the button on a nice uh, afternoon, leave and work. It changes the whole motoring experience now. All right, as we close up this car, you know, we're talking about we're talking about luxury and style. And one of the reasons I love these kind of cars is because they're not ridiculously expensive. You know, uh, this is the way to buy a car, forty-two thousand mile car. Uh, you know, for around $16,000. That includes free and closed delivery to your door, like $16,990, whatever it is. And it's, uh, you know, it's air conditioning, it's powered leather seats. It, the, the seats are even heated, I didn't talk about that. Four-wheel disc brakes, and just luxury. And uh, I don't know, these are just great. I just think they're still very sexy cars. Great automobiles to, to have for a really long time. And I don't ever see these cars going down and being half price uh, than where they are right now, because with the low miles and the other cars, you know, cresting the $100,000 mark, uh, these are a great bargain. So anyway, if you can find a way to get this in your life, call us, 301-816-1000. Get yourself a nice signal red uh, Jaguar XJS Cabriolet.